Nina Bader, uh, I'm director at the National Museum of Art, Architecture and Design in Oslo and also curator and commissioner for the Nordic Pavilion in Venice this year. My name is Nina Fram Um I was project manager for the exhibition Forms of Freedom and I also work at the National Museum of Art, Architecture and Design in Oslo. The South of North Network is a collaboration between like-minded architectural groups in five Nordic countries who share many values in culture and society due to a collective history. Does it make sense to talk about Africa as a whole in architectural context? And do African architects share anything particular in common, like education, history, approach, techniques? Yeah, I'm Peter Rich. I'm in Africa, we don't have any white walls, we just have big wide skies and lots of rocks. And if there's some dappled light on me, we were followed by a leopard this morning. I think <laughs> it depends. I've been growing up in Africa, so uh, I really know well this continent. The, the architecture culture, the, it existed, but it's kind of lost right now, a little bit. I'm not an architect, but again, I've been dealing a lot with architects. There is not as such an African architecture right now, a contemporary one. To say that we could look at African architecture as a whole, it would mean to come up with a team that will have commonly shared values that will find ways of contextualizing architecture. Remember, Africa is huge. You can fit China, um, India, the whole of Europe and America, and there's still space left over. It's, it, it's, it's a continent, it's not a country. In your opinion, what's the difference between a foreign and a local architect working in the same context? To put it very simply, it's the change of perspective that makes the difference. If one, one is working in a context that's different from one's own, um, the approach has to be of a process architect rather than a product architect. Architects generally, and this must be said to be a very overall uh, observation, work with the same parameters no matter where they are in the world. Isolating Africa as a specialized, special context, um, almost akin to a different planet, in a way is already a mistake. Our subjectivity as architects is created by maybe three main factors. One is the cultural background, the second is the uh, architectural education, and very last, the personal references. Is it possible for a foreign architect to contribute positively to the development of the built environment in any local context in Africa? I think it is possible um, for foreign architects to be able to work in, in African countries. It embraces the possibility that Africa as a continent, while still emerging in many contexts, uh, still allows for emerging innovation and emerging ideas. As an African architect, I mean, I haven't, I grew up in Niger, in West Africa, and when I work on a project for Niger, I lose sleep over it. Sometimes also as African architects, we're too close um, to the issue and too close to the project and sometimes even get too emo emotionally involved, I feel. Um, and so actually the foreign ar architect helps when you're working in a context such as this, when things might not be as easy as in Western countries, when things might not be as readily available, one should lose sleep a little bit. It's a huge responsibility. So when foreign architects work in Africa, they should lose sleep over it. What is the most successful way to create a genuine and relevant conversation between the collaboration partners? Stop being the professor, stop being the architect, and go to people who've never been spoken to before or approached and say you've come to learn from them and you'll be a better person after that. Like a typical client, um, I, I think that's, that's definitely a problem where um, projects that are made for you know, communities in Africa, those communities are not treated as a typical client. You need to spend some time with the people you are designing for. You need not to design for the people, but design with the people. As a team comprised of diverse group of people, it makes for really fascinating discussions. Understanding the, con the context profoundly um, is obviously very important. The South of North Network have so far mainly been working on smaller scale projects. Do you think this type of network can make any contribution to a larger urban scale project? 
yes. I mean, the small scale is extremely important to demonstrate that it can be done. With small scale projects uh, for schools, for example, we are now uh, influencing the building codes of the whole school construction system of the country. Africa's history is very strongly linked to its rural areas. The work at community level is very, is very important uh, because of the very strong community tradition. Most of our African projects have been located in rural and developing contexts. But we know that the urban picture is quite a different one. Africa has the majority of the fastest growing economies and the global north is now looking to Africa as a commercial opportunity. In this light, what do you think about the scale and relevance of the South of North projects? I think that the urban and rural picture are at times the same picture and very integrated. Projects in a rural context are sometimes as important. Uh, we know that African uh, cities uh, and uh, Africa as a whole will become urbanized by about 2040. But what that means is that 50% of Africa will still be rural. You've got the formal and the informal sector. Yes, learn from how the masses build for themselves in a very, very effective way. What we have observed in many cases is that um, the inability of, of, of governance and of government structures across Africa to recognize the interlinking nature of urban and rural has been uh, one of the more negative impacts um, on uh, not just architecture but on uh, the way in which design can uh, move forward to improve African cities with, uh, with leadership and uh, with clarity and see uh, design and architecture as, as being very important role players in, in this uh, emerging story of the continent.